the story of the conduit is uh, it's set in a, uh, a, a near future Washington, D.C., and you play as uh, Michael Ford, who is a Secret Service agent who is inducted into the shadowy government organization known as the Trust. Our controls with Conduit are uh, a lot more custom customizable. There's not one de facto perfect first person shooter scheme. So we give a lot of customization. We allow the players to go in and, and tweak out their uh, their dead zone, you know, the bounding box, uh, change their cursor sensitivity, their turning speed, uh, remap all their controls, remap all their HUD configuration, turn the HUD on and off. We're definitely looking to have a solid frame rate throughout the game. You, I'm sure you've seen uh, behind my behind my shoulder some dips. We know we're very aware of those, and those are all you know optimization and bug bug issues. Where we're at right now, we're running pretty pretty silky smooth, including in multiplayer, which I think that's where the, you know, you can't tolerate any kind of lag. For the players that want just like a non-stop adrenaline charged experience, we have that. We break it up somewhat with the with the puzzle elements and things like that. But if you just want to, if you're a run and gun player and you want to get in there, we didn't want to break up that experience for the players that want that. So our storytelling even yeah, isn't very cinematic heavy. Uh, a lot of the storytelling is told throughout uh, items in the environment and searching around and watching news broadcasts and things like that. But if you don't care so much about that, you know, we don't force you to do that. If you just want to kill stuff, have at it. The multiplayer, we've not announced all of the details on it uh, to, to folks just yet, but what we have said is that it's 16 player uh, online multiplayer that we have uh, capture the flag, uh, deathmatch, team deathmatch, all the typical things. But then outside of that, we will be announcing really shortly a lot of additional stuff that we put in that I think will make it a little bit more special for the week. Friend Codes has been a, a continual back and forth with, uh, with Nintendo. Um, we're not, personally, we're not fans of the system. However, it's going to be the best experience that we can make it. You know, um, at, at a minimum, it's going to be uh, a better experience than, say, Mario Kart. Go buy the conduit. You know, we're excited about this. We're excited about doing a, a game for core gamers as opposed to just, you know, a, a port or a poor quality uh, title, time to market title or a casual game. Support games like this. Support games like The Conduit if you want to see more games like this come out on the system. Games like us, games like Mad World, games like uh, House of the Dead, you know, that's what's going to push uh, more publishers and more developers to make games like this.